Many of us are generally familiar with the common theme of the Pixar theory. Today, however, I would like to share with you a lesser known idea, the Nickelodeon theory. For those of you who don't know, the Pixar theory is basically the idea that all the films made by Pixar are created in the same universe. The Nickelodeon theory runs on the same principle. Welcome to Nostalgia TV. This particular theory all begins with Megan, the evil little sister of Drake and Josh. She was tired of the stupidity shown by her brothers and her parents. She began to dream that she was going to become rich or famous or both. This made her realize that her family were holding her back from achieving her full potential. She came up with a plan to leave her old life and start a new one, but she knew that no one would take a 12-year-old girl seriously living by herself. She needed someone to act as her guardian. She realized that Crazy Steve was perfect for the role, except from the fact that he was crazy. So she made him take anger management and convinces him that he is her brother while she tried out her new identity as Paige Everyone, and went to PCA. Paige, she's from Boulder, Colorado, and she's thinking about coming to PCA. <laughs> while at PCA, Paige meets Trisha and they become close friends. Trisha tells Paige of her longing to escape and become someone new, so she decides to run away to Seattle and change her name. Her new name would be Sam Puckett. Crazy Steve knew of everything going on with young Megan and did not approve, but he knew she wouldn't go back to her old life and felt a wave of responsibility for Megan. She had helped him so much, he had to help her too. Crazy Steve finished his classes and began thinking of a plan so him and Megan could live a normal life as brother and sister. The only person he knew that could truly help him was his father, whom was in the Navy and always was away. Because she had helped his son, Steve's father helped them get an apartment in Seattle, close to Megan's best friend Sam, where they changed their names to Carly and Spencer Shea. Carly and Sam met Freddie shortly after moving in, and they all became close friends and started a web show known as iCarly. Spencer began to lose it again, so his father sent Spencer's grandfather to check on him and make sure he doesn't blow their cover. His grandfather then realizes Spencer can't handle it anymore and decides to take Carly away. Carly refuses to leave thinking she can help Spencer, but shortly after he falls apart completely, blowing their cover and forcing Carly to leave on a plane to Italy. Sam eventually moves on to becoming a real with her close friend named Cat. However, Sam misses her old life with Carly so much she ends up convincing herself she can't live. Also, there is proof of Victorious being part of this world, too. This is because the show contains mutual characters. Cat and Helen, who is the manager of the cinema in J Drake and Josh, but also the principal at the school Tori attends. Also, they have had crossover episodes and use all pair technology. And that pretty much sums up the Nickelodeon theory. Thanks for watching and check back for more nostalgic videos soon.